Speaking of building on last year, Tom Izzo referenced Maryland, what he called the cream of the crop this year in the Big Ten. Mark Turgeon returns a ton of talent and has one of the best freshmen in the country set to play this year in College Park. Here is the Maryland head man at Big Ten Basketball Media Day. And preseason all Big Ten selection, Jake Lehman. Coach, if you'd like to start with an opening statement, then we'll open things up for questions. Uh, obviously, we're you know looking forward to this season. We're excited. Um, really like my team. Really like my guys. Um, thing I like about them the most is um, with all the expectations, um, they really just worked harder because of it. We had a great off season, great fall, and worked really hard both on and off the floor. So um, excited. We're we're all looking forward to this season. Thank you, Coach. Please raise your hand high if you have a question. All the way back, left corner. You talked about how your players are handling the expectations. How do you expect them to handle the high expectations throughout the entire season this year? Well, I don't know if anybody's looked at our schedule like I've looked at it. Um, we have an unbelievably tough schedule. We, we, we challenged our guys, and then we got an unusually hard Big Ten schedule, I think. It goes in cycles. And... Um, I think we play six of the top seven teams in the league on the road. Um, and so we have a really tough schedule. So I, I think we'll stay humble because of our schedule, which will you know, make us continue to work hard. But while we're going through all that, I think we'll become a better basketball team and we'll be prepared for anything as the season goes on. So, um, you know, expectations change quickly. <laughs> We've had a lot of hype throughout the summer, but they change quickly. But we're, we, we have a good team, so we'll, we'll, we'll just – attack it like we do any season. Let's go second row all the way on the left hand side. Coach, I think a lot of us didn't know what to expect from Maryland coming into the Big Ten last year and a lot of people had you uh, in the you know lower few teams of the league. Um, but the way that your team performed last year and now the expectations for this year, did you see this coming at all? I, I knew when I was sitting here last year that I had a good basketball team. Um, I knew last summer, um, two summers ago, that I had a good basketball team. So did I see 28 games? Uh, no, I, di I didn't see that. Um, did I see uh, Diamond Stone coming to Maryland? No, I didn't see that. Uh, did I see Rashid Suleiman popping open and he ends up at Maryland? No, I didn't see that happening. So it kind of all came together, Melo coming back. So I knew we were going to be good last year. It's kind of all come together for us this year with, with, with the talent. And now we've got to do it, you know, of course, on the floor. So... Uh, we, we've we've been good and we've been lucky and you know Maryland's a great place. I don't know if you've ever been there to a game, but it's an amazing place. We got great basketball tradition, and um, you know we 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 can do great things there. We really can. All the way in the back, standing up, left hand side. Coach, could you just as far as Diamond Stone goes, how good can he be right off the bat? And what are maybe two or three things that he's improved on since he got to campus uh, over the summer? Well, what he's improved on is he's changed his body. He's, he's lost a bunch of weight. Um, he's done that. His, his, his uh, work habits have become a little bit better uh, since he's been there. And I think off the floor, he's, he's, he's managed his time better. Those are three things that he's really improved uh, since he's been there. Um, how good can he be? I think offensively, he's already there. Um, he's got a great feel, right, left-hand hooks. He can shoot to 15 feet, tremendous passer. And like I said, has a great feel for the game. And the way we run our offense, our big guys have to have a good feel. So he has that. Like most young guys coming into the college ranks, defensively is where he's going to have to really improve. And that's just going to be a process for us. But he, he's a talent, and uh, he's going to help us win a lot of games. Over here. Left-hand side, third row. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Point guard. <laughs> um. Coach, I know it's kind of lost in the fact that the lofty preseason expectations and some of the other talk and the fact that it comes the same night as the Champions Classic, but how excited are you personally to play Georgetown, and is there kind of a buzz building in the, uh, the DMV for that game yet? Kind of a buzz would be an understatement. Um, I think we need about 50,000 tickets, so we could probably use 100,000 tickets for that game. Um, so it's going to be great. It's two great teams. i got a lot of respect for John uh, and his program. Uh, they're going to have a heck of a season. I think they'll pick second in the Big East, something like that. So it's going to be a great game. Everybody's excited. I think the coaches, the players, 
um, the fans. It's going to be a terrific night. Uh, we're looking forward to it. We got time for, time for one or two more questions for Coach. Easy, girl. Right. Uh, let's go middle, right hand side, four rows back. Put your hand up high again, please. Mark, Mark, I'm curious, um, with all the talk today about the rule changes and how different teams are adjusting, uh, what did you guys do this summer? Or what are you in the process of doing right now, whether that's on the defensive end or, or what have you, to kind of maybe adjust to these changes? Well, I, I think the biggest uh, uh, adjustment in the game is, 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 is getting used to the different defenses you're going to see because of the shot clock. Um, so we've added some things to our practices early that we might not do normally to help us prepare for certain situations that might arise early in the season. So um, we're going to try to play. We're, we're, we're trying to play even faster than the 30. You know, um, We put a 24-second shot clock up when we practice, so we're playing faster than we have. So uh, it's not a big part, but it is getting used to the different defenses and how people are going to play. Uh, I think it's going to be the biggest thing, and I think it's a challenge for coaches. It was hard to get a good shot up with 35 seconds, and uh, that'll be a big challenge for us to continue to figure out how to get great shots up in, with the 30-second shot clock. You got time for one more question here on the aisle? Uh, Coach, with Melo Tremble being named uh, preseason Big Ten Player of the Year, obviously there's a lot of expectations for him this season. Um, how has he handled that pressure so far, and what do you expect of him this season? Well, I, I don't think he, I don't, you know, I'm sure he's excited he got named preseason Player of the Year. I'm, I'm sure he wasn't hoping, I mean, he wasn't laying in bed, oh, I hope I'm preseason Player of the Year type thing. So uh, we told him about it. Uh, the thing about Melo is he had a good year, um, but he wants to be better. And he knows he has to get better in some things. So what he's done is he's continued to work on his body. He's lost more weight. His first step's gotten better. Defensively, he's gotten better. His leadership skills have gotten better. And I think you'll see a more complete player. Last year, Melo had to do a lot of scoring for us. He will still have to do that. But I think he'll be um, um, a guy that distributes the ball a little bit more. He's got a lot of good players around him. But Melo doesn't get caught up in all that. He knows people are gunning for him. He knows people get excited to play against him. They did that last year because he had a lot of hype last year, too. So he's kind of gotten used to it. Thanks, Coach. Good luck this season.